Minecraft Snapshot 24W13A. I don't know why they put these horrendous names, no one's gonna remember them, but it adds some really interesting stuff. New potions, major changes to Bad Omen, and enhancements to the mace. Yeah, it got even stronger. First, let's talk about Bad Omen. How Bad Omen previously worked is you'd get these guys with banners attached to them in your world. Look, I know the banner's white. I don't know why it's white. I looked up a command to spawn them. This is what I got. I am an idiot, please bear with me. And you'd go up to them, slice their head off, and the next time you walk into a village, a massacre happens. But not anymore. You see, now you get these things called ominous bottles, and only when you drink them do you get the bad omen effect. So now Steve gets to choose when the massacre happens. But that's not it for Bad Omen. You see, they've expanded the functionality of the item. Now, if you go into a trial chamber with Bad Omen, it changes to this new thing called Trial Omen. And this makes trial chambers more interesting and even harder. You see, different potion effects will spawn, such as hunger or weakness for you, and can give the mob strength or the new potion effects for them. But honestly, it makes them feel so much more dynamic and fun. I I'm genuinely really enjoying this update. They've added three new potion effects. What these new potions can be, can be one of three. It can either be a weaving potion, an oozing potion, or an infested potion. Each potion has their own unique effect on the mob affected. Such as when you kill a mob doused with an oozing potion, when it dies, it will spawn a slime. Or if they're currently under the effects of a weaving potion, when they die, they will spawn a cobweb somewhere around the corpse. And the infected potion is slightly different. This time when they're infected, each hit they take, it has a small chance to spawn some silverfish. And this can affect players. But most importantly, is the players can actually choose to brew them themselves. Here I am brewing an oozing potion by putting a slime block onto awkward potions. And as always, this tends to give me ideas. Nefarious ideas. Slightly evil. Screw it, full-blown evil ideas. The first one I came up with is to go up high above someone's base. You then put a bunch of chickens in a one by one cube and then splash them with oozing potions, quickly followed up by a harming potion. This will kill a whole bunch of chickens at once and then spawn a metric ton of slime which will fall down upon your enemy. Is it gonna harm them? Probably not, but it will harm their spirits. And that's the real win. And plus they're a nightmare to clean up. I mean, <laughs> The other trap I came up with involves cobwebs. What you do is then instead put chickens underground and hook them up to a skulk sensor. This one is calibrated to only detect footsteps, so it will only activate when someone gets near. This time it will spawn a bunch of chickens and kill them, and then spawn a bunch of cobwebs, then slimes, kill them again, making even more cobwebs, forcing them to take the full damage of the harming potions, maybe killing them, or maybe just completely annoying them. But there's actually a fourth potion I didn't make Mention, and that is the potion of wind charge. Affected entities when they die will spawn a wind charge and if you've seen a couple of my videos you will know I am absolutely certifiably in love with wind charges. They're so great I love you. So what I've done here is put a bunch of chickens once again in a one by one coop. I'm gonna splash them with wind charges and then a harming potion, killing them all at once and spawning a metric ton of wind charges straight on my feet. And as you can expect, I'm going up. 250 blocks in fact. Just remember to find a way to stop yourself from dying on your way down. And talking of wind charges, that brings us on to the mace changes. You see, it's interesting. The mace in this snapshot has been nerfed as it was pretty powerful, but in reality, it's been buffed big time. You see, they've added three new enchantments for the mace. The first one being density, which increases its base damage when falling, breach, which reduces the effectiveness of armor, and the third one being wind charge. But we'll get to that one. First, I want to talk about density. The mace damage when falling has been nerfed. It used to be two damage per block fallen. It's now been reduced to one. But with density, it's actually six per block fallen, which means from a simple nine block tall drop, I can kill an iron golem in one hit. That's over 50 points of damage. This is seriously pretty cool. But the last enchantment for the mace I didn't mention was wind burst, which will spawn a wind charge below you every single time you hit an entity with the mace. So I decided to take advantage of this and make a boat elevator. It's a nightmare to use, inconsistent, and will probably see no light of day outside this video. But who cares? It's kind of fun. 
What I have here is a big tall tower with boats on different platforms, and when I hit them with the mace, I'll be sent up to the next one. And if I hit the next one, I'll continue my momentum upwards till I can get to this platform. I've also hooked it up to redstone so when the boats are destroyed by the mace, they turn into items, hop it back into the system, and auto-renewed. So you won't run out. It's a bit of a nightmare to use, but you know, maybe you can make a mini-game out of this. But I don't know anyone who makes mini-games. Do you? But hey, hey, come here, come here, come here, real quiet. Now, don't tell anyone I told you this, except, you know, all the people watching this video, but it's very cool. Turns out, you don't need an elevator at all. You see, if you put wind charges in your offhand and you have a mace with a wind charge buff, you can just hit the wind charges in the air. Now, I imagine this might get changed, possibly, probably, or maybe it won't. Point is, when I throw a wind charge upwards, I can hit it out the air with the mace, which sends me upwards, meaning I can throw another one, hit it, upwards, and again, and again, and again, and then get as much height as I want. As long as I have wind charges, I can practically fly. Who needs an elytra? And now, if you have density on the mace as well, this drop is going to do mega damage. Hell, just for fun, let's put down a warden. And with nothing but a mace and wind charges, let's see if I can kill it. Hey, hi. Okay, you think that's enough for a warden? Uh, that's probably enough. That's probably- where's the warden? Where's the warden? <laughs> this is a bit absurd. Just a bit. In fact, using this technique, just for fun, let's see if we can hit and kill the ender dragon in one shot with just the mason wind charges. I think what I should try to do is wait till he's by the central podium, because I'm not gonna hit him midair, he's too fast. Come on, come down. You're scared. I would be too. I have the mace. Perch, 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 perch. Oh, is he, that, that's, it's happening. He's, it's happening. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Ah! I'm going to pull this off eventually. I gotta tell you, Ender Dragon, you think after living on this island for what, like thousands of years, you'd put up some furniture eventually? You know, maybe a live, laugh, love sign? Oh, he's doing it, he's doing it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Ah! 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 First time survival mode! That's right, baby! All points, no quills, no pillows! Now give me that egg and get out of my sight! But honestly, they keep adding real, real cool stuff to the game. And in fact, King Bee Dogs has tweeted out that this will be the last thing they're adding to the 1.21. I mean, sure, there'll be bug fixes, but this is pretty much the update as it is now. And I gotta say, this might be the best Minecraft update. After three years of nothing burgers, they've really done a great job. This is great. Mwah.